Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. My name is Brian Zykowski and we are exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5. This video I'm going to talk about the select same tint percent which is an option in your preferences and if you don't already have a document open if you'd like to follow along and do what I'm doing go ahead and open one but I already have this document open here. If you need to open one just go to the file new menu and uh, accept whatever it says it doesn't matter for this particular um, lesson. So in order to show you uh, what I need to show you here I'm going to need the color palette open so I'm going to go select my color right here under your windows and also I'm going to need my swatches so I'm going to go to window go down to swatches so okay now that we have those open I'm going to show you that when you click on any of the swatches that are in here this is default right here you get some patterns in there and grayscales and stuff so I think this is default I may have changed something earlier because this document is created from uh, from a template so we'll get into that stuff later but so if you were to double click on any of these swatches in the swatches palette here you'll notice that you have a little options window that opens up and you can select process color or spot color don't worry about those right now it doesn't really make that much of a difference unless you're going to print press you're printing some t-shirts or you're doing something commercial professional level for, for this particular video we don't need to even worry about that but what we do need to look at here is this option called global and in order to show you the select same 10 percent that only seems that that only works with and is only relevant with working with global colors so I'm going to select global for this RGB green and select OK now with that particular swatch selected it reflects over here in your tool panels as well I'm going to take a rectangle and just drag out a rectangle drag out another rectangle and drag out another rectangle now these rectangles are using the RGB green and it's a global color now since I selected that so okay. now with I'm going to leave this one the way it is and I'm going to select the second rectangle I created and when you have the option of global selected you have the ability to change a tint of an object right so I'm going to take the tint on this particular rectangle down down to about there and I'm going to select this one now and take that tint I don't know, maybe maybe just a little bit lighter than this green but not quite as light as this green here now if I was to select my first rectangle here and go to select same fill color it's going to select all three of these rectangles simply because according to Illustrator these are all the same color we've only changed the tint so you can think of it in terms if you're familiar with uh, flash for instance if you create a movie clip and you drag it around on stage you can create multiple instances of that movie clip and you can go ahead in your palette um, your your tint palette or your options and stuff you can go ahead and change the tint for each of those instances without affecting the original movie clip it's the same idea here so what I what I showed you was that if I go to select this one again uh, select same fill color it selects all of them now now what this this video is about is the option to select same 10 percent it's kind of something that is kind of a limiting uh, option so if I was to go to uh, preferences which on the Mac is under the illustrator menu and on Windows it's going to be under edit we'll go to preferences general and we have the select same tint percent option right right here so if I was to go ahead and select same tint percent and go hit and click OK now when I select this first rectangle here which is that bright green 
and I go to select same fill color it's not selecting the other other objects now even though it's using the same original color swatch of the RGB green which is selected to global so let's go back and do that again select this and go to select same fill color doesn't select the other two um, rectangles go back to your preferences general and uncheck select same tint percent go ahead and accept that now when you select one of these rectangles again and go select same fill color it goes ahead and selects all three of them once again so you get the idea I'm not going to go too deep into it um, but that only works if you have a color set to global all right I hope this was useful somehow to you uh, my name is Brian Zakowski for Cartoon Smart thanks for watching